Social media platform X has curbed all searches for Taylor Swift. This is happening just days after sexually explicit deepfake images of the pop star went viral. One AI-generated image in particular garnering 47 million views before it was taken down. The situation is renewing calls for stricter legislation around artificial intelligence. Chris Matman is an author and international expert in AI and machine learning. And Chris joins me now tonight. Thank you so much. I want to get your thoughts first on how you think X is handling the Taylor Swift incident. Marla, thanks for having me on. I think X is handling this as best as they can right now. They uh, made a post on X that basically said, that all of the searches for the Taylor Swift AI generated images are coming back, you know, as and being taken down. Joe Bernarock, who's their head of business operations, basically said that they're taking all these down, they're identifying them. And when you search on X for Taylor Swift right now, you're basically getting something went wrong and, you know, I have to reload or you have to reload and things. So it's hard to identify these images because they themselves haven't been watermarked yet. And uh, I'll talk about watermarking kind of in a second, but it's a tool to basically indicate, hey, this might have been generated by AI or this is a real image. And that's what's making this so difficult. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable to think. I mean, we know she's a superstar, but those 47 million views came in 17 hours. That's how long it took to get that one uh, image taken down by X. Okay, well, you just wrote an op-ed in the New York Times. We want to show it to our viewers. Uh, it is titled... If we could pull that up, I think we do have the image. There it is. AI is coming for the past two. You penned this op-ed. Uh, give us a summary of your main message here, Chris. Yeah, Marla, you know, the real issue is that there's so much focus on the now. And that makes total sense. You know, we're in an election year. You know, we've got amazing artists like Taylor Swift who, you know, the NFL is like banking on and all of these things are happening. But there's a lot of things in the past that we're not focused on. So the point of this article with my colleague, Dr. Jacob Shapiro from Princeton, was basically to indicate, hey, so much of the past is basically becoming increasingly digital. Um, you know, you could Im imagine things like somebody using AI to fake a document that said the Armenian genocide never happened, right? Mm -hmm. And without the ability to kind of verify and have these sort of watermarks, we're gonna have people basically not just focused on now or the future, but going back to the past and trying to rewrite it. So the point of the op-ed is basically making a call to action and saying, hey, AI researchers, hey, government, hey, funding sources, we need to be focused on watermarking the content from the past as well. Yeah, and the images that we were showing there, that's exactly what you talk about in your op-ed moments in time that basically were propaganda that became truth. Perception is reality, right? So let's talk about the significance of watermarking. And is that a difficult process to do? Yeah, Marla, so the challenge with watermarking is that it's typically focused on the images or the content or the audio or whatever that we have available today. However, like a lot of the techniques and tools that are being built by Google right now, Google has a watermarking tool for AI generated images. And there are other you know, companies like OpenAI that are working on this. The tools are available. What we need is really the urgency to go after the data in the past, which nobody is focused on right now. And that's sort of the call to action in the article is we need to go back, use these tools from Google. We need to invent new tools that don't exist now, but we really have to go after that data in the past. It's all sort of mind boggling to think that this is where we are now. It is part of our reality, uh, past and, and, and present, that is for sure. Well, we know you're on it. We appreciate your inside AI expert, Chris Matman. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. Marla, thanks so much for having me on.